What's poppin' people? It's your boy Adub, and today I am taking over the Kickin' Their Bass TV YouTube channel. My buddy Noah is kind enough to let me take over his channel for the day because I told him, I said, Noah, I've got some awesome, awesome fish out here on bed in this beautiful river. And I said, I wanna show everybody on your channel. So he said, you know what, man? Go ahead, take over the channel. So we are out here today filming an awesome bed fishing video in this crystal clear water for all of you guys. To explain a little bit more about what we're doing today, we are actually going to be throwing a bait on this bed right over here. We've got two fish over here on the bed. One of them looks to be about three, four pounds maybe, but I do have some bigger fish later on in the day we're gonna go hit. But we're gonna be starting off with the six cent swim bait right here. This is the 4.4 inch Divine swim bait. This thing should get eaten and it's white, so I'll be able to see it a little bit easier. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead, throw the GoPro down on the bed. We're gonna get some awesome underwater footage in this really clear water. If you guys do wanna check out content similar to this, you can go ahead and look at my channel in the description down below. I do a lot of river and creek videos and I also have some really cool underwater shots on my channel. All right guys, so like I said, we have two fish right here on the bed. We've got one that's probably about three, four pounds and then a smaller one. And I think that these fish are gonna eat pretty quick. Probably 10 cast or less. Oh, he's nose down on it right now. All right guys, we're actually gonna change up baits. I brought another rod with me. We're gonna try a crawl style bait in a green color. That way we can really imitate a bluegill. We're gonna throw this stroker crawl right here on a shaky head and we're gonna see how they react to something like this that's gonna be kicking in that bed. Guys, so I think they're gonna eat this pretty quick. We're gonna go ahead and throw this thing in there but they should eat this thing really good. They swam right to where it was. Oh, the little one just pecked at it. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, guys. It's literally a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. We just caught this giant off of that bed. I did not think that fish was this big. Oh my goodness, guys. Holy cow, I have to get up. Oh my gosh. Look at the size on that fish right there. Ate that stroker crawl. Oh my gosh. That might be a five pounder, guys. We gotta go ahead and get this girl on the scale. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and put her on the scale. Definitely over four, might even be a five pounder. I'm not really sure. Looking like four and a half pounds. 4.6 is what it was reading for me. Looking at 4.58, so we've got a four and a half pounder. A little bit over four and a half pounds. That is a river giant right there, guys, on the bed. We need to go ahead and get her back on that bed so she can defend those eggs. Beautiful river fish right there. We're gonna go ahead and get her back on the bed right here. Hopefully catch that other fish that's on this bed. What a beast. There she goes. Whew, that's exciting. So the cool thing about this fish is he was actually sitting on a bed right here. And this is actually just a little tiny puddle right here. It's actually not connected. As you can tell, it's just a small little puddle. So these fish got in here when the river was high and now they're stuck in here. And I did put that fish back in here because he is on a bed. So whenever the river comes back up, those fish will be able to get out. They have plenty of food in here. There's bluegill, there's crawfish, there's all kinds of different things in here. So these fish will definitely survive in this little puddle until the river comes back Guys, up. Now we're going after the male on this bed. We just caught the big female, but we do have a male on here. I think it's about two pounds. It could be bigger, could be smaller. Don't really know, 
But it was going after this crawl too, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this crawl in there again, see if we can get him to bite. Uh-oh, here he comes. Oh, he's nose down. Come on, baby, eat it. Oh, here he comes. He just picked up the claws. Eat it all the way. Oh my gosh. Definitely not a two pounder. Hard to tell how big they are. The males are usually a lot smaller. That's about a pound fish. Fun to catch that fish right there on the bed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this one. I know it's a, it's a little baby, but I got the scale, so might as well test it out. 1.47. So one and a half pounds right there. Not a bad fish, still fun to fight. Still fun to watch him eat it. We're gonna go ahead and get it back on the bed. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy back so he can go back on that bed. There he goes. All right, everybody, we're over here at spot number two now. We are going to put on the GoPro. These fish are actually sitting under a huge boulder. They're not on bed, I don't think. They're just kind of sitting under this boulder, so I'm actually going to try casting to them, just seeing if they'll bite. I actually can't see them from where I'm going to be standing, but I just walked over here to this rock, and they're sitting under there. It's a bunch of five-pounders, so hopefully we can get one of these big girls to bite. Do a little bit of jumping to get to the spot over here. Okay. I'm gonna stand on this rock over here. And those fish, they actually did get scared when I walked up, but they should be under this big boulder right here. There's a group of them. There they are right there. There's the group. Those are good ones too. I'm hoping they'll go back up under that rock. That's probably where I'll be able to catch them at. Yep, there they go. They're swimming right back over there to it. Oh my gosh, there they are. Whole group of them. There's like eight right there, literally. They're all just sitting right there. That's insane. All right, boys, we're gonna try to get over here without getting wet, but I already know that it's gonna happen, so I went ahead and rolled up my pants. Cause we're gonna try our absolute hardest. But I already know I'm gonna get very wet. Cause I, I only have so many rocks I can even step on. And I don't think I have another rock I can step on. I really don't want to jump to that one. Oh, yep, felt a little bit of water on that one. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting wet right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, now we still have to get over there. All right, boys, we made it. There they are. They're sitting back underneath this rock. Like literally they're swimming back behind this thing.
I just don't even know what they're gonna eat. There's, oh gosh, they're like so sketched out about everything. All right, let's try a swim bait. It's like they know. They're like, I ain't stupid. I know exactly what you're doing. All right, everybody, as you can tell, we grinded right here at this spot. Tried to get one of those fish to eat. They're just sitting up underneath that boulder. I mean, all the way up under that thing, a couple feet. And I just can't get them to bite. Even if we scare them out, they just won't touch anything. So we're gonna go down to this other spot I have where I think I have some active fish. Maybe not underwater footage, we'll have to see. I think I have one on bed. So we're gonna go down here, see what we can get cooking up. It could be a time thing too, since these aren't on bed. Cause yesterday it was like five o'clock, the sun was a lot lower and they wouldn't be able to see me as good. He just ate it. He just ate it. All right, guys. That first fish actually just ate it. I actually found this group of bass right here. They're in a little school. Now, you just have to find... Oh, oh my gosh. He ate it again. He's just not eating it all the way, but he just ate it again. Oh, my gosh. Please, baby, eat it again. There's a huge... Oh. We got him. Oh, my gosh. We got him. Oh, my gosh. My drag. My drag. Oh no, he came off. Oh my gosh. Okay, we, we, we're just gonna catch another one. There's plenty more right here. He came off, my drag was all messed up on my reel. Maybe we can get another one to eat it. There's plenty more fish right here. So maybe we can get another one. We did have that one come off, but it is what it is. Oh, one just blew up out there in the middle. All the way out there. Let's see if we can catch that one. Gosh, that sucks. That was like a two pounder, guys. Maybe even like a two and a half. That was a decent fish. Oh my gosh. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, come here, baby. <laughs> there we go. Got that one on the finesse jig. I was actually standing on that log looking around, to see where the fish were, and he munched that thing. Oh my gosh, it's about time. I had that fish come off. I was getting a little bit down, but then we got this nice chunky one right here. I think that's about a three pounder. Nice healthy fish full of eggs, very fat on that little green finesse jig right there. Good fish right there for sure, definitely. About a three pounder, we'll go ahead and throw this bad boy on the scale. All right, got the scale zeroed out. I think it's about a two and a half, three pounder. We'll see. Uh oh. 3.15. So good three pounder right there, almost three and a quarter. Nice healthy fish. First one out of this section. So hopefully we can get another one. Did I have that other one come off? 
but this is a good sign that they are willing to eat. Had some trouble getting another one to bite after I missed that one on the swim bait. So I put on something a little bit smaller. Finesse jig right here with the stroker crawl entice this big girl right here to eat. All right, well, I know everybody loves to see the clear water release, but I was actually taking a picture and she flopped right out of my hands, right back into the water. So fish is back in the water now, but didn't get that on camera. So let's go ahead and get back out there. See if we can get another big girl to bite that finesse jig. Just knock slack in my line. Yep. Oh, there's another healthy fish right there. Oh my gosh. Choke that thing. Look at that girl right there. Completely ate that jig. Super nice healthy fish. I mean, that is literally a football. Oh my gosh. Straight up munching that thing. Let's, let's walk over here, guys. We're going to get a little bit better lighting over here. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this fish. We got another nice healthy fish. Not as big as that last one. This one hit it way better though. Actually knocked slack in my line. Like completely made it go slack. And that was another one on that six cents finesse jig. They are straight up eating this thing. I had that one or two bites on that swim bait. But that fish came off. Decided to switch it up. And now it's getting it done. That's like two fish in five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and get a weight on this one. Get it back in. Hopefully catch a number. A number three on this finesse jig. All right, I think this one's probably about a two and a half. I mean, the gut on that fish is crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess two and a half. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm good. 2.55. Two and a half right on the money. Nice two and a half pound football right there, guys. Can't beat it. Look at the beautiful ladder line on that fish. Right there, we're gonna go ahead and let her go. Back in this crystal clear water. There she goes. River fish are so strong. It, it is by far my favorite. I have a bass boat and I go fishing at the lakes and stuff all the time, but river fishing is my favorite. You get to go see those fish and they fight so hard. It's, it's just the best thing. So if you guys have not got out and fished any rivers, you definitely need to try it. All right, go ahead and throw it back out there. Perfect, that was perfect. All right, don't fish it so fast. Fish it slow because you gotta keep it on that bed. All right, set the hook, set the hook. You got him, you got him, you got him, really man, really man. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a good one, Chelsea. That's a good one. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that, Look at what you just caught. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, go ahead, hold it, that's your fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's your first bed fish ever, isn't it? Yeah. First one ever, she caught that one all by herself. I didn't do anything <laughs> except instruct, so that's freaking awesome. We gotta get the scale. Get that thing on a scale and snap some pictures. Oh my goodness, high five. High five, come on. There we go. So we're gonna get a weight on this one. Can you clip that thing on there? Just clip it on the bottom right there, on this bottom jaw. Squeeze it. Oh, this way? Yeah. There we go. All right, let's see how much it weighs. Oh my goodness, 3.85. That's definitely your best one so far. Oh my goodness, we got a 3.85. That's almost a four pound fish right there, guys. She just caught off a of bed. And actually you can see right there, that's another fish on bed we're about to go try to catch. And if Chelsea will let me, I might catch that one, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and get this one back. Gotta get some pictures and uh, that was awesome. I'm speechless. I put her back right on the bed. Go ahead and put her back in right there. There she goes, swims right back out. She's gonna go right back over there on that bed. That was awesome. We gotta get up without falling. Oh my goodness. High five again. Good job, four pounder. First fish, that, that was the first fish on that rod too, wasn't it? Yeah. Just got a new fishing rod, first fish, and her PB, so that's really good. He is hot. All right guys, so we just moved spots. This is actually where I saw a guy earlier. He said he caught a couple of these fish. I'm not sure which ones he's caught, but there's two fish right here and they are hot right now. One just chased right off the bed. So I'm just gonna flip my white jig in there. There's a log right here, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt because it does get in the way a little bit but I think that I can still catch them. Chelsea is going to catch a fish over there. She's over in the briars. <laughs> but after I saw her catch that one, I just, I gotta catch one of these big ones. I'm gonna have to change my bait because these don't wanna eat this. That's the thing about bed fishing guys. If they don't eat, you just gotta change it up because certain things will piss different fish off. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and look in here and see what I've got. I'm gonna try to throw something a little bit different. Maybe I can try one of these big old things. The big swim bait. I don't like that it has a big exposed hook, but we're just gonna roll with it. Maybe it'll make them angry since it looks more like a fish instead of just a lizard or something. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, there's a bass right there on the bed too. I bet you nobody's caught that one. He's under this tree. That's about a three or four pounder. How big is it? Bigger than yours? Oh, one, that smaller one just hit mine. He does not like it. He actually keeps hitting it. I think I'm about to catch this one. Oh my gosh, he just hit it. They do not like this one. This is just a bigger swim bait, guys, and they are not having it. Oh, oh. They keep hitting it, but they're not eating it. It's like these fish have definitely been caught. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh, come here. Oh my gosh, come here. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh my goodness. That's a five pounder. That's a five pounder right there. Oh my gosh. Whew. On the big swim bait. Look at that thing. Choke that thing. Oh my goodness. Straight in that mouth. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, just got this beauty right here. Got that one on the swim bait. They would not hit any Texas rig or jig or anything like that, but they would hit this big swim bait right here. I think that's a five pound fish. Beautiful lateral lines on this girl, super fat. We're gonna go ahead and put the scale on and see how much it weighs, but I think that is a five pound fish. Let's go ahead and grab the scale. I think it's a five pounder. I do. Oh, it's so close. 4.76, four and three quarter pound fish. Still super nice fish, almost five pounds right there. Super big fish, and Chelsea actually just pointed this out. I wasn't even paying attention. You can see right here, that fish actually has been laying eggs. You can see the eggs, like the last part of it coming out of that fish. So it has been laying eggs, which makes sense. They're right there on the bed. We're gonna go ahead and get this big girl back. We've got a couple more fish right here on this bed. There's actually multiple fish right there. This fish should go right back on that same bed. There she goes. There's actually multiple fish right there. There's three sitting on this bed right now. All right, guys, I know this is kind of hard to see, but I've got my polarized glasses up to my phone right now. You can see a couple of these fish sitting right here on the side of this log. Those fish usually sit next to structure, and that's actually where I caught that fish. My fish I just caught is already sitting right back there, but we're going to go ahead and make a couple more casts in there, see if we can get us another fish. Let's get it. All right, guys, there's actually another bed up here I actually just found. There's multiple fish on that one up there, too. I think they're probably going to eat this one bait, too. We have to see. But there is another bed. I don't know if these are as active as those other ones, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They don't like it. Oh, I'm about to catch another one. See if you can catch those. I think those will be maybe a little bit easier. Uh-oh, that male does not like the swim bait. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just ate the tail. It just ate the tail. I'm gonna be able to catch this one too, guys. The same fish off that same bed. He does not like this swim bait either. Oh, he just ate it. He just ate it. He didn't eat it all the way. Just the tail. Oh my gosh. Here comes a big girl that I already caught. She's right there. And then here's our male right here. A little bit smaller. Still catchable though. Oh, just ate it again. Just didn't eat it all the way. That's how you know these fish are gonna eat it too because if they eat it, oh, like that. Like that. There he is. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> that one's definitely not as big as that other one. But look at that. That is a good sized fish to be a male. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Well, that's a sandfish now. We're going to wash this thing off. All right, guys. So there's a look at our male right there. Probably about a two, maybe two and a half. But that's usually about how it is on the beds. Usually the male is a lot smaller than the female. Ate it right there on the side of that log, just like that other one did. So that's freaking cool. We're going to go get a weight on this one. I think it's going to be about a two pounder, maybe two and a half. Oh, two and three quarter, 2.73. So that's a pretty good fish right there. That is the male off of that bed. Caught both of those fish off that bed. So that makes me feel good. Catch both of them right there that we can see. And there's plenty more fish. I've probably seen about 10 bass. We're going to go ahead, get this guy back in the water. Go catch another one. That's number two on that swim bait. They like that a little bit better than those other baits because it's almost like a bluegill. I don't have a bluegill swim bait with me, but these fish actually chase the bluegill off the bed. Those bluegill come in and eat their eggs. So the bass hate those bluegill. So if you can get something to imitate those bluegill really well, those bass will come in and they'll just annihilate that thing. It took me maybe five minutes to catch both of those fish. So that's freaking cool. Let's see if we can catch another one.